God of glory, God of grace, the only true and wise God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Now we come this morning, Lord, before you in the strong and all sufficient name of Jesus Christ. You ask us to cast all the cares in you because you care for us. Lord, we praise and thank you simply for who you are. We exalt your name this morning. We praise you. We worship you, God, in spirit and in truth. Lord, I present your people this morning. We have various needs. I present the needs of your people, their body needs. Many in this congregation may be alive as well. Are experiencing physical pain, discomfort, limited mobility. I pray that you will touch and restore and heal in accordance to your divine will. I pray God for our labor needs as we labor. Uh, we're challenged, Lord, in terms of our deficits. We thank you for giving us the physical strength, the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding to be able to labor. I pray, God, that you will smile at us graciously in this church. Amen. And we pray by faith that we will get rid of the deficit. Amen. And we will have in place a sustainable plan to go beyond. Amen. Lord, I pray also for the emotional needs. Many have lost loved ones. Many right now, Lord, are suffering their hurt. I pray that you be near and dear to them by your comfort and spirit. The Bible declares, those who mourn shall be comforted. So, Lord, comfort your people in Zion this day. I also, Lord, pray for our social needs. Many are living in isolation. Many are lonely. Many experience fractured and broken relationships. I pray that you will give them the peace that they desire, that you will allow them, Lord, to be in fellowship and to be in proper relationship in accordance to your divine will. Lord, I pray also for our spiritual needs. The word of God declares that Jesus came into this world to save sinners. May you give us the mindset, the disposition, give us the understanding for us to recognize the times in which we're living. The word of God declares that we have the sure word of prophecy. Lord, I pray that we will be better prepared as we labor at this side of the vineyard to serve you and to serve our communities where you place us. Lord, we recognize the world in which we live is stirred with wars and rumors of wars. Many have been displaced. Many are victims of poor government policies. Lord, we pray for your divine intervention that you will manifest your glory throughout the various parts of the earth. That people who are in darkness will come to see the light and to be reconciled to Jesus Christ through the proclamation and demonstration of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for Pastor Frey. You have placed the shepherd here, this on the shepherd, for a moment and a time like this. I pray, God, as he speaks your oracles, your word, your divine revelations, that you will empower his lips, O oh God, and that you will edify your body, your waiting congregation, and in the process, let your name be glorified. We thank you for hearing, and we thank you for answering, because we pray by faith in the only name that is above everything, that in the name of Jesus Christ, Every knee shall bow, and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to the Father. In his name we pray. Amen. 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 